Hi again. Um, last video we looked at this ball and how to make it work on level one. Um, and we just broadcast this level two intro and hidden the ball once it touched the portal. So again, we need to go through all the sprites and think about what we need them to do when the level two intro screen is showing. So back to the stage. And what we can do here is we've already got a script that says when I receive level one intro, switch to the right background, wait, and then broadcast. So we can just duplicate that, pop it down here, and tweak it a bit. So instead of level one intro, level two intro, wait two seconds, and then we want a new broadcast called level two. There we are. Um, level 1 ball should be hidden, level 2 ball should be hidden, level 1 portal should be hidden. Have we done that? Not quite. So, when I receive level 2 intro hide, and level 2 portal is already hidden, so we're fine with that. The play button's already hidden too. So, we should be getting up to a stage now where we can play level 1, we get the level 2 intro screen. and not a lot else at the moment because we haven't told it to switch to background level 2 so let's duplicate that when I get level 2 switch to background level 2 there we go um, so let's test it from the start mouse here and wait let's finish level 1 quite quickly bang level aha what have I done there there we go there's my mistake should be level 2 intro screen there. Let's try again. Oh, hello. There we go. That's better. And there we are. So everything's hidden. I now need to tell my level 2 ball and level 2 portal where to show up. And to do that, I can just right click them and show them. Like that. Move them to the right places. There we are. Um, in fact, I've already got a rather nice script for my level 1 ball, haven't I? Here we go. Um, that I can drag across to level 2 ball. It'll make it start in the same place. Which isn't bad at all. 196143, it's fairly similar. Point towards mouse point and move 5 steps. I want it to go back to the start if it's touching a different colour the colour of my walls on level 2 um, and if it's touching level 2 portal I want it to broadcast a new command called win New, there we go and then hide that's great my level 1 portal shows up and goes to the top left hand corner I can duplicate that across Roughly the same place. Yep, that's fine by me. Um, so, level 2 ball, if it's touching level 2 portal, says win. That should be fine, actually. Um, and then the last thing we want to do is tell everything what we want to do when it receives when it receives the win broadcast. So the stage, when I receive win, switch to background. Hang on, you can't see that, can you, because it's off the screen, so let me move it up here. Have I made a win background? No, I haven't. So let's go and make one quite quickly. Paint. Let's have a green fill. Some text that says win. There we go. That'll do. And I'm going to call it win. There we are, so switch to background win. Fantastic. Level 1 ball is hidden, level 2 ball is hidden once win is broadcast, level 1 portal is hidden, level 2 portal isn't hidden. So drag that across from level 1 portal when I receive win. Hide, and the play button got hidden ages ago, so that should be fine. Um, this should be pretty much everything now, so let's play the game through. Green flag. Play button. Mouse here. 
Okay. Oh, hello. Something's gone wrong. That means I've not edited my level 2 ball right. When I receive level 1, show. There we go. When I receive level 2, it needs to show. So let's start again. And that's why we test. There we are. Quickly win level 1. There we go. Let's go for level 2. Try it out. It's a bit trickier, so it might take me a couple of goes. Just check that it does go back to the start, which it does. Okay. All the way around and win. And that is a guide the ball through the maze game with some levels. Thanks for watching.